I am not a genius, I am very average person, but I am consistent. I am not a smart working person, but I am a hard worker. Do you know what magic it can do in your life? If not, welcome to my channel. It's vlog 14 and if you have come through here till now with me, along with me, I can definitely say you, you are consistent, as consistent as me. I can definitely guide you through my tips and tricks, but I cannot be sure of it. But I am sure of one thing that if you are as consistent as me, we are gonna do it. We are in this together. You are not alone anymore. Maybe I am being virtual in this platform, but you can take me as a friend who I am uh, studying with you. You can uh, share your, uh, you know, ideas, you, you can share your feelings in the comments. Because in terms of motivation, I feel I am a really good person to do that for you. I have seen people who are uh, really in depression phase, especially in studies. I usually uh, won't get that depressed in, in terms of studies because I am more focused on my upgradation in studies, not that I am stuck in some uh, GT score or like that. I am always focused on what I have to do, what change I have to bring in my preparation so that it could take me to the levels of preparation. Sometimes I am depressed uh, in terms of other emotions of our life. But I will be someone that you can definitely relay on for your motivation, consistency, as a friend, uh, as a co-aspirant who is striving harder to, uh, you know, crack that exam, to run in that track race. I started with reviewing GT as soon as possible I came home so I started with the wrong questions first and after that I am gonna do skipped questions which I do not know uh, or have any idea about it and lastly I am gonna just go through the correct answers also I have done 50 review questions today I actually wanted to complete the entire uh, reviewing of the test but unfortunately I could only do 50 questions I couldn't uh, go through the entire paper for now but I'm gonna definitely complete it by tomorrow early in the morning in the live session itself if not uh, one more hour I think that's that's it because the more you are prolonging reviewing a GT it will you know make you lazy to do that guys don't worry about the GT scores or the correct answers you have got right now take it as a very big stepping stone of your success so the more gt failures occurs at the beginning of your preparation like just you are having right now the question paper was tough really tough so you don't need to worry that you didn't score well the question paper was very indirect there are so lot of questions that make you recall uh, to the deeper surfaces of the preparation now we are really trained to study in that uh, perspective of examiner also so we are ready for that uh, hard core paper of uh, the exam whenever i am doing a gt i always thought that i have seen this image somewhere but i am not able to recall just like we have choti copy and we are forgetting things uh, we have made that i have started my own image copy uh, image choti copy or you would say some vibe like book of Bhatia so that I copy pasted the images which I have gotten wrong in the exam and then and there I have just uh, included one word about it or one line about it uh, then and there so before going to exam just like we are reviewing the wrong answers we are gonna review the GT images I think it will uh, be a real game changer if you are consistent in doing that but uh, we can't say that it will work for anyone I want to do a GT review of this initiate mock exam. If you are interested, please let me know in the comment box. Here is an example of how I am reviewing a GT. Like uh, this is the plot which I don't know at all anything about it. This I marked it as Ishikawa diagram but it is a Pareto plot. So I noted both of them because in next exam the Ishikawa diagram may be the question. Bye bye.